This is about 6 a.m. I started with this morning routine. I had this great idea that I wanted to become a morning person. I thought it was gonna get easier and easier to get up in the morning, but it doesn't get easier. I do kind of enjoy it after a while when I'm when I'm up and a little more awake, but I gotta foam roll a little bit and then get into my rehab exercises and get the day started. So I finished all of these five sets already actually on the right and left leg, but I forgot to turn on the camera. But the way I do it is, is like this. I stand on one leg, close my eyes, stand for 60 seconds on the right leg, swap to my left leg, 60 seconds. And I do that five times on each leg. And uh, yeah, I'm actually a lot more awake now because that always happens after I finish these 10 sets. Try as possible to stay kind of centered and like not try to move around too much to help compensate my you know, wobbliness in the foot. I'm just trying to really keep my foot straight so I can keep my body straight as well. So after I finish with those dive around the world, just kind of just like trying to strengthen my ankle a little bit more. Do about 15 of those. I kind of lost track already, but just do a few here and after this one because i kind of want to get more of a pump as now i feel like this is a kind of like a really good progression in the morning i've never been a morning person if anybody knows me and i've been very ambitious when i get up in the morning and i was like yeah i get up and i do all these exercises and stuff but it's just very tough when you get up to like get right on it so i feel like this is a great way to kind of like ooze into it <laughs> but people that kind of do these vlogs can speak while their exercises or doing something because as soon as I, I talk to you guys I completely lose track of how many I've done I really can't focus on two things at once it's just this part of being a man but I do this about five laps I want to get my heart pumping a little bit more so I try to do 100 push-ups and 100 squats just to get the blood flowing a little bit if you want to see why I'm doing this ankle exercise you can really see how this one makes it pretty evident why I need to work on my Ankle. I'm trying to straighten them as much as I can. I saw when looking back at that, I probably didn't do the most picture perfect push ups, but I guess my, my focus is more on the, the push compared to getting low. But you can give me all the shit you want in the comment section about those. But gotta get them done. But yeah, so finish with the morning workout. I'm gonna shower now. I always like to finish off with a, with a cold shower. <sighs> I do cold showers. I don't have to talk too much when I do cold, cold showers. You just want to find your breathing though. And can take 10 deep uh, breaths and just try to kind of calm down. Seven ten. I guess I'm decently on time. And I was preparing the, the breakfast and put on some coffee, so the girlfriend's happy. Yeah, just grab legs. Last couple legs. Nice well, That thing's working. Just gotta repair all the other stuff. So, Morning electrolytes, uh, just to kind of replenish salt and stuff that we lost. Some fish oil, magnesium, and some vitamins. And of course, a little a ginger shot. I'm gonna cap it off with a little avocado. was already kind of awake so i guess that plan worked better in my head than in practice all right so my michelin star breakfast served and i just had the last thing to kind of top it off let me know in the comments if, if you ever tried putting vinegar in your avocado i don't know i really like it
just arrived at the tennis club, running a few minutes late. Always try to be here about half an hour before my schedule, like practice, but now I think I only have like 20 minutes and I need to tape my foot as well, so not great that one. And of course I realized that I forgot my phone charger at home. So if this vlog gets cut short, then you know what the issue was. But yeah, gotta prepare. I'm playing at nine o'clock to about like 10.30 or so with my good friend, Jonathan. I'm just gonna hit through the shots. I still can't move fully with my ankles. I gotta be cautious about that and work on just hitting through the ball timing wise and especially some serving returns to kind of finish it off, so. So as we begin the tennis session, we just kind of start off uh, easy in the middle. I'm actually playing with the ankle brace for the first time. Um, not super sure if I like it or not, but I saw in the mirror do it, so I guess can't be too shit. Uh, but yeah, as we're hitting down the middle like this, the importance, and I really think it's important that you're always trying to move with your body weight forward. Even though you get pressured back, so you have to put a lot of weight on your back foot, always trying to put the pressure so if you see here that I can almost always take a step forward after every shot, really try to make sure that yeah, I'm pushing with my body weight uh, forward all the time and, and always like, yeah, with a weight transfer and trying to work a lot with my breathing, just with the timing, just to kind of get the rhythm, especially after not playing too much tennis lately, just trying to, to kind of find that rhythm. And it's so important when you're hitting down the middle like this to, you know, just to always kind of keep that intensity so you're not just just hitting with no intention. It's so always trying to make the most out of every, every second you're out there on the court. So after hitting a few down the middle, we kind of just want to increase the intensity and just kind of competitiveness a little bit. So we're actually doing a drill here that I've kind of just designed on my own a little bit because uh, because of my ankle injury, I can kind of run towards one side. But the way this works uh, pretty easily is that you just hit down the middle and whenever somebody wants to, they can go for it uh, out like that. But if the other guy or the opponent just simply gets the ball back, you lose the point. So you can kind of look for an opportunity to go for it, but you have to be really cautious about your decision making and when you want to try to to go for it. And kind of like this one. And when you go for it, you really need to make sure that you're like stepping into it with body weight. So it's going to be hard for your opponent to read it because if they can read it, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult to hit a winner playing on a clay court. So. Yeah, this really usually brings up the intensity because you can hit down the middle with more pressure, trying to find some shorter balls that you can hopefully step into and and try to look for these winners just like Jonathan did there very well. And yeah, then we do the same kind of drill, the cross court. So when you have an opportunity, you can yeah just step in and go for it. Uh, there I kind of went for a winner down the line. And here we can see another one when yeah, he's really just pressuring me and as I need to be cautious about covering the down the line, get a little unlucky there with the neck cord so he pretty easily gets there. But since you have to be ready and cover the down the line, it just adds a lot more intensity with the movement down the middle. So you have to make sure to get back. Otherwise, it's you know it's pretty easy to sometimes get stuck when you're just standing there in the cross court and you're literally just hitting down the line but standing cross court. So you don't really get that side, side movement that we're looking for. But as time goes on, uh, both me and, and Jonathan are starting to hit a little better there down the line. You see us both kind of just finding these balls where you can kind of step into it like that. And when you get into with your body there, it's just very hard for for your opponent to kind of read when you're going to go down the line. Same thing there on my backhand. Did a good job there just like stepping into it. Here we get a little too excited and kind of go for a little too, too much there. Uh, a little disappointed I missed that one. I felt like I got in there with my body weight, but... Yeah, just went a little too close to the line. A beautiful shot there by Jonathan, really just clocks that one. But yeah, this helps a lot to just kind of add to the fact that you're not just rallying cross court for like 40, 30 shots with no real intention behind it. And yeah, this really helps me because I mean, most rallies when you're playing matches and stuff is, is much shorter and, and tennis these days are just so much more intense and powerful that you're not really getting the opportunity to just rally and groove anymore. So. Yeah, moving into some serves here, making sure to warm up that, that pancake serve on the do side, but can't say that it's too effective playing on. On clay court doesn't do too much as it doesn't spin off uh, really, but yeah, just focusing on hitting through the serve here, trying to be getting more intense here, putting more, more pressure, working with the legs more and more. 
and we're just kind of working on serve and, and second shot. So sir, he returns and I go for the second ball. Just trying to, you know, just find the, the groove there a little bit. Both of us trying to always have some kind of intention behind every shot that you're hitting, like looking for an opportunity to go down the line, move it. And yeah, just really trying to stay focused throughout the whole point. Because so often or not, you know, we can lose a little focus here and just on these first shots, you know, maybe you're not super focused and you kind of miss a few here and there, but you don't think it matters. But all of those really kind of add up and, and yeah, got me there with a little <laughs> underhand serve. It really caught me off guard. But yeah, just really make sure to, to keep that focus all the time it makes that tiny difference that can make all the difference when you're playing your matches. And as you might notice here, uh, serving is kind of Jonathan's forte, just really serving circles around me to finish off this morning tennis session. Just finished with the morning session. It was a good, like an hour and a half of just kind of hitting through the shots, trying to, to do the most I can, still having some issues with my ankle. So some difficulties when I'm trying to push off uh, both sideways, but I feel like we managed to do a pretty good session, just on a good focus, trying to do the best with what we got. My sparring partner, Jonathan, smacked some aces on me as usual. After finishing the morning session, just gonna go into the gym a little bit, cool down some, and then grab some lunch. Jag är på vloggen här. Vad ska du vlogga för något? Ja, ah, Youtube eller? Så då med morgon practice och lunch and off to weights. After that nice greeting, uh, I was kind of onto the bike, just get a little warm, watching uh, Mr. Hardy throwing some weights around. <laughs> and the coach being excited, as always. But yeah, moving into some kind of mobility and, I don't know, like ankle exercises here, where it's really tough staying on this one, being balanced, moving around the core. And there's actually a reason why we, I mean, don't like to do without a shirt sometimes because it feels a little easier to see kind of how the body's moving and I don't know, just get a better oversight about it. But then into some very deep squats there and send some loaded step backs, just trying to put a lot of weight and pressure on the ankle, trying to get it back in shape as quick yeah. as possible. And of course, already throwing some more weights around there. But after that, just finished off with a lot of these dragon. I don't know if exactly what you call them, but yeah, did a lot of laps of these and uh, yeah, really did a lot of laps of these until we kind of finished off with a little bit of bike and uh, yeah, that was it. So showered and done and with weights for today and that finishes off all my workouts and practice for today. So just afternoon, I take care of some, some small stuff on the side and get some dinner and I'm uh, gonna call it a day. After the workout, always get a refill with some protein, amino acids, and just electrolytes just to, I don't really know why I take it, just I'm just supposed to, I guess my fitness coach tells me to do it, so I do it. Finally made it back home, it's 5 p.m. on the dot, so I guess I'm just getting on this, this 9 to 5 gig, but uh, yeah, got some work done, it's tough for me to do much more right now with the ankle, kind of just the way it is, so getting ready, have a little rehab session again in the evening, foam roll, trying to get the ankle like loosen up as much as possible, because it usually gets kind of tightened up after I do this workouts and stuff for it during the day, because it's just so weak right now. Another good day in the books, make sure to subscribe to the channel, I'll see you in the next one, ciao.